This video is to highlight by far the most popular tool within Search Atlas, which is the SEO Content Assistant. This tool has two major workflows. One is to start a page from scratch. So in that instance, all you're doing is giving it one or more keywords you're trying to rank for, and then you hit generate article. The other way to do this is to import an existing page. So I'm going to go over that workflow. So we're going to go to linkgraph.com, take our conversion rate optimization page. We're going to hit import from URL and give it the URL. And then we're going to give it a keyword that we're trying to get this page to rank for in an ideal world. So we'll do conversion rate optimization services. We're going to set our location. This tool supports worldwide country level targeting, state level targeting, or even city level targeting. So for example, I can set this to Orange County, California, if I wanted to, uh, but I'm just gonna keep this as the broader United States for now, and then hit generate article. What the tool is gonna do is it's gonna go to our website. It's going to import our full HTML document into our writing assistant, <clears throat> and it's gonna start preparing keyword research on the target keyword in this instance being conversion rate optimization. So all of the content that's here is coming directly from our web page, right? Uh, this is going to be the initial target keyword. In general, we recommend selecting three to five keywords to optimize each page for. So the tool is going to suggest keywords like conversion rate optimization agency. It's going to show us the volume and the cost per click. So I'm going to click add. And then if I want to find additional keywords and I'm not really happy with the suggestions here, I can hit view all suggested keywords and we'll get a full keyword report where it'll show us the parent keyword, the search intent, the volume, traffic potential, ranking difficulty, long tail variations. And then here it's going to give us additional keywords that we can select from. So I'll pick another keyword conversion rate optimization services. Cool. So what the tool is doing in the background is for each keyword that we give it as our primary, it's actually going to go into Google in real time and it's going to scrape the top 20 search results. So it's going to show us the top 20 sites that are ranking and you'll see link graph is currently position seven for the search term, but it's giving us the current top 20 search results. And it's going to do this for each one of the keywords that we've entered. The next thing that the tool is going to do is it's actually going to download the content documents for the top 20 sites. And it's going to show us overlapping keywords, concepts, phrases, and ideas that the top ranking sites are using within their content and how frequently those keywords appear within their content. So it's going to do this for all of the keywords that we've entered as our primary. And what you'll notice here is that this is well beyond just semantic variations of conversion rate optimization. It's going to look at what are the overlapping concepts that Google is expecting to see on a page that's talking about this keyword. And those concepts are going to include things like marketing agency, user experience, bounce rate, target audience, landing page. So Essentially what this site is doing is it's allowing the average writer to become a subject matter expert in any given industry for any given keyword by reverse engineering the content strategy of the top ranking sites for a given query. Cool. So it takes all of those data points and then it uses that to compare against the quality of the content that you've already created. So over here, you'll notice our content score is currently a 79. The average score is going to be a 68, and the top performing score is going to be a 94. If we want to improve our content score, we're going to reference this list here on the right-hand side. The list is going to be sorted by default by importance, so the most important keywords are at the top. But you can choose to sort this by volume, cost per click, frequency, or heading presence. Now, when you hover over each one of these keywords, for example, conversion rate, it's going to show you the metrics associated with that particular keyword, the search volume and the cost per click, the number of times you should use this, ideally around five times. And then it's going to show you the competitors that are using this term in their content. And when you hover over the competitors, like Influence Marketer Hub, for example, we'll show you a snippet or a preview of how that keyword was included on their exact page. 
And when you hover over each one of the competitors, you are able to see how the competitors have included that keyword, what is the context of that phrase being included in. And that's how we're essentially deriving the importance score. It's by the number of occurrences, the frequency, the density, the cost per click, the search volume of that phrase in its relation to the content strategy of the most successful brands. Now, the idea behind this tool is to essentially take these suggestions and find ways to naturally integrate them throughout the copy without sacrificing readability or the legibility of this page. And not just stuffing your keyword with these pages, right? But finding ways to modify sentences, add FAQs, rework headers, and really get these keywords on the page in a natural and intuitive way. You by no means need to use all 47 suggestions. For example, the keywords all the way down at the bottom of the list are gonna have a zero importance score. So these are keywords that you can add, but are not mission critical because the top ranking sites aren't using them at a high enough frequency. So <clears throat> if you've used a keyword and you've hit the recommended frequency, it's gonna be highlighted for you in this green color. If you've included the keyword, but you haven't hit the satisfied, uh, but you haven't satisfied the recommended frequency, it's going to be highlighted in yellow. And if you used a keyword too many times, meaning you've stuffed the page with the keyword more than the recommended threshold, it's going to get highlighted in red and essentially tell you to dial back down on that use case. So the writer in this example can reference the keyword frequencies and adjust their existing content. They can expand the content or they can use our AI to actually add more content to this page. There are around 50 unique AI templates that we give the user access to. So it really depends on you know, what type of content is it? Is it a blog post? Is it a home page? Is it a product page? Is it a service page? Is it an email? Um, you know, is it a social media post, et cetera? So depending on the type of content you're creating with this tool, there's going to be an AI template to help you turbocharge that performance. And you can toggle your AI settings to choose your tone of voice, to choose your language, to choose your point of view, and essentially configure the settings of the AI. The other thing that this tool will do is it'll give you metadata suggestions. So if you're unhappy with your current title tag and your current meta description, you can click this metadata button. It'll show you what your current title is and what your current description is. And then again, you can use our AI to generate new title tags and new meta descriptions that are optimized for the keywords you're trying to rank this page for. So it'll take a couple seconds here and then it'll give us a few different suggestions for new titles and new meta descriptions. The other feature of this tool is it does integrate with WordPress. So if your site is powered by WordPress, you can essentially post new blogs or post new landing pages with our WordPress plugin, or you can update existing posts and use it to essentially streamline your content production. Uh, you can also share this. So if you want to have a user work on this, you can just kind of give them their email, let them know like, hey, they can edit it or they can view it, very similar to how Google Docs functions. If you want to synthesize all of this information, you can hit this export to brief button. This will actually open up a Google Doc that's publicly shareable where it summarizes all of this data and research. So this doc just opened up and it's going to show us, okay, here's our current title tag for the page. Here's our current meta description. Here's the word count we should shoot for. This is the readability. And then for each one of our target keywords, like conversion rate, op conversion optimization services, it's going to show us here are the top 10 sites that are ranking for this keyword. Here's the content score. Here's the word count. And it's going to do this for all of the keywords that we've entered. And then it's going to give us the most important keywords to include in your content, the search volume, the cost per click, the recommended frequencies. It's going to show us any people also ask questions and it's going to give us internal link suggestions. So this brief can essentially be shared with a writer. Uh, to go ahead and create that content or optimize the existing page. Uh, over here, it brings in people also ask questions. And over here, it's giving us internal link suggestions by essentially scanning our site and showing us related blog posts or guides 
that would make sense to internally link back to this conversion rate optimization page. And lastly, if we toggle to this section here, it will actually give us recommendations for technical improvements to this page as well. So our, meta, our metadata, our canonical tags, indexing, heading structure, internal and external links, alt image text attributes, our schema validation. So this tool allows us to ensure that we have created SEO-friendly metadata, SEO-friendly web copy, and that we've resolved any technical barriers that may be impacting this page's ability to rank in search results. The last feature of this tool is the images. Uh, this is giving the user access to royalty-free images via the Unsplash API. So if you give it a prompt like site design, for example, you're going to get a list of royalty-free, copyright-free images that you can use and add to your content directly. And we're also going to give you the link to the original source. So you can also see where we got that image from, find different variations, and ensure that it is royalty-free. The last feature of this tool is when you open up a blank Google Doc, so if you create a, a blank Google Doc and you have our Chrome extension installed, uh, this module pops up here. And this gives the user a simplified version of the writing assistant. So the entire widget that's here on the right-hand side, it gives the user a simplified version. So if they want to write an article about CRO, they can hit that in there and they'll get all of the recommended keywords, frequencies, variations, competitor data, directly in Google Docs. So they can do their writing in a Google Doc. Whatever they do with the Google Doc will automatically get saved as a new document inside Surge Atlas as well. So to recap, this tool allows you to take an existing landing page and optimize it for a given keyword or a given cluster of keywords in a specified market to ensure that you have the best metadata, the best web copy, and you've resolved all your technical issues. This tool can also be utilized for creating new content. So before you write a blog post, before you write a new service page, you can actually just start the page creation process in the content assistant tool to ensure that you are following SEO best practices when it comes to your content marketing strategy. Thank you.